What's up, welcome back to the channel. My name's Mike, so today I'm just gonna go through my t-shirt collection and I'm gonna tell you where I bought them. I have a lot of horror shirts. I got like one action shirt and then a, just a meme basically, but I'm gonna go through them, I'll show you them and I'll tell you where I got them. So here we go, uh, the first one, we'll get this out of the way. I got, I got this Twilight shirt. I thought it would be funny, I was gonna make a Twilight video and I haven't gotten around to making the video, so now I just have this massive eyesore in uh, my dresser, but that's fine. Uh, so yeah, we got that one. Uh, and then I got this one my mom got me. That one I got from Spencer's Gifts in the mall, by the way. This one my mom got me. Now, I asked for this for Christmas or my birthday or something. However, I asked for it from, uh, I'm gonna put it on screen, I'm drawing a blank right now, I'm so sorry, but uh, they're from the UK, and uh, she found it on Etsy. So this is actually a knockoff, so shout out to the actual uh, publication. Love my mom for getting me this. Uh, however, this is a knockoff, so just keep that in mind. But if you wanna get the real one and some other cool designs, they had a great Return of the Living Dead design, you could check that out. I also made a video showing off the websites as well. You can check that out after this one. This is a shirt, I believe it was purchased at FYE uh, in the mall. It was a gift to me from a friend. Uh, I really appreciated it. This is a shirt that they got 99% sure it's from FYE. Do they have FYE still? Is there still an FYE by you guys? I'd be interested to hear uh, if you still have an FYE because mine just closed down. This one, oh, just feeling it super comfortable. This is by one of my favorite companies, probably top two. I, I, there's so many good ones. It, I don't even want to say that because there's so many good ones, but this is from Studio House Designs. Hey, yo, what the fuck? This dude's awesome. I've seen him at a couple of conventions and he makes great stuff. This is a Midsommar shirt. It's beautiful and I believe it's printed on comfort colors. And it's just, it's super comfortable. Super comfortable. I love the design, it's awesome. And then the, uh, the tag on it is pretty dope as well. Just the print, I think it's awesome. Check them out, Studio House Designs. I have plenty of stuff from him and you'll see that as we go through. But leave a comment and let me know which is your favorite shirt because I, it's hard for me to pick. The Warriors crossover with Dream Warriors. <laughs> Uh, I saw this shirt, this was absolutely, this was such a dope design. This was the second shirt that I ever bought actually because I met Fright Rags at a horror convention. This was a shirt that I went on their website after that convention. I saw the design, I loved it, I purchased it, and uh, I think it's awesome. So, Dream Warriors crossover with The Warriors. Both movies that I really love, and if you haven't seen them, I highly recommend them. Now this one is fun. This is actually my family. We have a tradition every holiday season, every Christmas, we watch uh, Christmas Vacation. That's our favorite family Christmas movie. That's the gift that keeps on giving. And this is a nice crossover. I guess it's not really a crossover. It, it's mostly just the, the Christmas Vacation one, but you know, it, it shows off that joke from the movie, if you're familiar, where they pay homage to Jason and it's, it's just nice. I thought it was cool. Uh, you know, as a horror fan, it, it's hard to incorporate horror into the Christmas season, I feel like. Maybe, maybe your relatives would uh, not understand you coming with a horror shirt. Hi, Mike. Hey, what's up? Uh, what's on your shirt? Oh, this? Yeah, this is my favorite part in the whole movie. This is the part where the guy in the wheelchair gets a machete in his face and he rolls down a huge flight of stairs but that one it's like oh this is a christmas shirt um so i like that now this is actually an action shirt this is another shirt that my parents got me uh for christmas i believe and it's an awesome robocop shirt uh this is from cavity colors um so cavity colors is awesome the last shirt i believe was from fright rags as well correct me if i'm wrong M editing mike you'll you'll put it on screen now but I believe the Christmas Vacation one was from Fright Rags, and this one, the Robocop one, is from Cavity Colors. Really awesome. I love the design. Uh, this artwork, I believe, is Devin Whitehead. 
and Devin just does absolutely incredible work, insane work. One of my favorite t-shirt artists working today. Absolutely phenomenal stuff. Yeah, I love that. So this is another, another Christmas horror t-shirt. This is the black Christmas design. This one was, I believe, from Gutter Garbs. Black Christmas, I think it's an absolutely fantastic slasher film. And again, it's got that nice horror and Christmas overlap. You can, you can turn Black Christmas on during Halloween or you can turn it on during Christmas time and it kind of works both ways. So I kind of like that. This is a uh, Friday the 13th, the original. This is again, another banger from I think Devin Whitehead. He does fantastic work. I know I said that before and I might say it again because I just think he's phenomenal. I like this one, I like it. I will say uh, the color scheme, questionable. It's like a turquoise and like a peach, orange, red kind of color. Um, it's okay, it's not my favorite color scheme but the artwork's so great. I love Devin's stuff um, so I buy it anyway. Uh, and I think, I, I do think the color scheme is not terrible because blue and orange go together turquoise and red kind of a balance you know blue and reds um, but something about that I, I I think when I got it I just I just wasn't expecting the colors to be uh, that like orange and, and turquoise so this one right here beautiful another Devin Whitehead this is Halloween 3 I really like this one this was my second shirt that I ever bought online uh, my second you know shirt from my t-shirt collection that I've ever bought online really like this one the artwork is just fantastic this is another one again uh from devon again from cavity colors this is the killer clowns from outer space i love this design really awesome killer clowns from outer space just has such a perfect comedic tone to it and i love the designs and the creativity this one is a Goosebumps and Halloween 4 crossover. Now, I actually like Halloween 4. I think it's a good film. You can see there's Michael Myers hiding back there in the back of the design with a little spotlight, a little street light going down on him. And this is obviously a crossover between uh, The Return of Michael Myers and The Haunted Mask, which is uh, the Goosebumps story that uh, really messed me up as a kid. The Haunted Mask 2, I should say. I think that was the one. I saw the VHS as a kid and I just was like scarred for life. So I love that design a lot. That one is from Fright Rags, I believe. So really cool design from Fright Rags. I believe they made that for the 45th anniversary of Halloween, if I'm correct. And then we got this one, another Devin Whitehead from Cavity Colors. This one's actually grown on me. Originally, I wasn't a huge fan of the orange and green. Um, but I love the design so much that I bought it. But actually now the orange and green, it, I, I'm actually a fan. I'm actually a little bit more of a fan. It's grown on me a lot and I think it's a fantastic shirt with an awesome design. I love it. Again, Cavity Colors for that one. So check them out, they do great stuff. Now I will say all these shirts, I try not to wash too much. So I try to wear them when I know I'm not gonna get dirty when I'm not going to sweat too much and then if I can get away with it I won't wash them I'll try to try to wear them a couple times before washing so most of these I actually haven't really worn because I love them so much and I just don't want them to fade or crack or anything so I don't really know if they will but um, but I haven't washed them that much so if, if they look really good that might be why uh, but keep in mind these are companies that do a lot of sales so I imagine they make quality products as well can't can't verify that haven't done a lot of washes but this was actually my first horror t-shirt that I ever purchased this is from Fright Rags I got it at Monster Mania 55 I believe it was an awesome convention and this is Ginny's Revenge this is limited edition from Friday the 13th part 2 uh, I love this one this is another studio house designs shirt I like this one a lot now I will say the print is a little crooked on this one and that, that kind of upsets me. You know, when you're doing a limited run, I think that this, if I remember correctly, this Suspiria print was limited to only like 75 or something like that. I just, 
I don't know, the, to have a print, you're doing such a small run, to have one print be crooked and it's noticeable and you're just like, ah, whatever, I'll just sell it. The thing is, these aren't that cheap, you know? I mean, they're not they're not crazy expensive, but you know, you're not you're not um, cheaping out. You want to support the artists, you want to you want to buy the stuff, but at the same time, you want a quality product. And if my eyes don't deceive me, um, it's it's pretty crooked, and that's that's unfortunate. Now, I will say uh, this is not Studio House Design's fault because they don't do the printing in-house. But either way, I like the design. I really like the, the white and the splotchiness. I love uh, the movie Suspiria. It's not that great of a film, but I just really like the style and some of the visuals. And it's, uh, it's kind of like my introduction to Jalo, which I haven't really watched too much of. But, um, you know, it's... Uh, it's an interesting film and for some reason I just, I like it. And I know it's not, it's not that great. I don't think it's that great of a film, but I just like it. The soundtrack of course by Goblin is, uh, is awesome. It's on point. And then we have this one. Ah, oh, this one is Cavity Colors. I want to say Cavity Colors. I think it's Cavity Colors. It might be Fright Rags. I'll put it on screen, but uh, I think this is Cavity Colors. This one I actually like a lot. This is probably the one that I've worn the most, and that's just because it's very understated. Like, it's it's black with one color print, and it's just got the pocket symbol, the Friday the 13th pocket symbol there, and then it's got a nice design on the back. Let's see, man. This is uh, this is a cool shirt. It's very comfortable. This is Comfort Colors as well, I believe. Uh, I believe, yep, Comfort Colors. Super comfortable, super comfortable shirt. Uh, the ink is laid on pretty thick on this one. This one, fantastic. Love it. Uh, this is a Goodfellas, Goodfellas hoodie. I'm a huge fan of Goodfellas. It's a fantastic film. Um, they got this print on the, on the side that says Goodfellas with a gunshot. Never rat on your friends and always keep your mouth shut. It's a, it's it, one of my favorite, this might, this is one of my favorite items for sure. One of my favorite items for sure. Then we got this one, Studio House Design. This is another, possibly one of my favorites, possibly one of my most worn Suspiria hoodies. I love it. It's awesome. This design, again, we have like the Asian inspired designs. And this one to me just, it strikes me as a design that maybe this is just the movie poster um, in Japan. I don't know. It looks cool. I love it. I like the color scheme as well. The black and pink looks dope. It's great. I think when it comes to the hoodies, I think Graveyard Goods is really above everybody else as far as designs at least go i just i love their designs i think they knock them out of the park there's one that i'm looking at right now that i'm on the fence about they, they currently have a 72 hour run going as i'm filming this for the house of the dead uh video game franchise and it's it's dope and i'm sitting here and i'm toiling my thumbs back and forth i'm like do i buy it do i buy it but anyway here we go the thing beautiful design uh again I think that, I think this company just knocks them out of the park. It knocks them out of the park. Graveyard Goods just has my favorite hoodies. And we got the, the creepy, creepy face on the side here. But I just think that their hoodie designs are fantastic, even though they are a little pricey. It's like $64.99 right now. Um, and they, you know, they, they charge for shipping and stuff. So by the time you're done, you're spending a little bit over $70 on one single hoodie. And it's like, oh man, I love it. But for someone that has the finance, financial situation that I do, you know, $70 is a substantial purchase and they make dope stuff pretty frequently. So I can't buy every single one. Um, so you really gotta pick and choose what you want. 
but I will say these companies are awesome. I think that you should support local art whenever possible, especially in this time of AI. AI is useful, AI is cool, but you just keep art alive by supporting local artists. That's how I feel and uh, they deserve it. They've worked very hard to develop that skill and now it's, it's, uh, it's a weird time that we live in. So that's it. I'll stop rambling. That is my t-shirt collection. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you go out and purchase some for yourself if you saw any that you liked or that you uh, want to pick up. And that is it. I got to go help uh, put in a sink because we've been trying to put in a sink in this house for the past like two days and it, we've just been encountering problem after problem. So it's, it's been fun. But uh, I got to get back to doing that. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. I will hopefully see you in the next one.